Hey Basement Collective, thank you for tuning in to another Fantasy Friday. Now I'm just kidding, but this is going to be released on Friday and it is an Age of Sigmar battle report. I know we had said we're going to release X-Wing battle reports on Friday, but hey, we figured we'd throw an Age of Sigmar battle report into the mix for you. So this is the table we are playing on. We're not using the rules for the Games Workshop terrain, we're just using them as terrain features. And we'll go over that in a second, but first let's go over the armies. We are just playing 50 wounds. Uh, just 50 wounds with one hero, one war machine, and then the rest is non-restricted and one monster. I do want to give a shout out to my boys at Four Realms of Chaos. They are a Toronto-based painting and commission studio. They do a lot more than painting. I've had this World of Army for a while, and they're on the old ugly square bases. <laughs> Old ugly square bases, and I also had a wood elf dragon that needed painting, and they hooked me up. I mean, I am ecstatic. I also got this limited edition guy, or mad OOP, long time OOP model. Let's see if we can get that too. Look at that. That is a quality of the paint job. They are by far some of the best price commission studio on that basing. I paid a dollar a base to get this whole army rebased onto circles, including them taking my old metal models off of, well, metal models off of square bases. And then we have this bad boy right here. They painted him up. See if we can focus in on that. Sisters of Twilight on a Dragon. Amazing quality paint job. But anyways, my list of 50 wounds is the Dragon, of course, at 12. A unit of 8 way, way, way Watchers. That's my Way Watcher Lord of the Birds. We have 5 Wild Riders. And then 20 Glade Guard. Coming in at a cool 50 wounds exactly. Let's go ahead and check out Irvin's Chaos. Okay, and here we have Irvin's Chaos. Now, a good this was all rebased by another Canadian painting studio called Pirate Painting, as well as the Sorcerer and the Nurgle Soul Grinders painted by Pirate Painting. But uh, yeah, and we apologize if Irvin has a yeah. bit of a lisp. He yeah, has. Sorry, I have uh, wisdom tooth issues right now, so I sound a bit weird, but. There it is. So tell us what we got, Irvin, today. Okay, so, so first of all, I got my Soul Grinder there. And once again, this is painted by Pirate Painting, a painting studio in Alberta, another good friend of ours. Okay. Shout out to Justin. And then as well, I got, sorry guys, one second here. So I'm used to playing Tomb Kings, Chaos is my new army, so I'm going to learn how to do that. What about this sweet sorcerer? Yeah, she's painted quite nice. All on snow basin. Okay, and Irvin, what else do we have here? Okay, so I have Chaos Sorcerer Lord. Yeah. I have the Lord of Corn on a Juggernaut. Sweet, sweet. Three Mighty Skull Crushers, and that was full command. Nice. And then six Infernal Guard Fire Glades. These are Forge World Chaos Dwarf dudes. Awesome, and there you go, 50 Wounds of Chaos. And here's the board. Now, just so you know, all the terrain you see that's not the two hills right there was either made or made and or painted by Greenleaf Terrain. So let's go ahead, guys, and let's we'll come back once we know more about the game. And we're back. Now, this is what we're doing for the game. Uh, we have these tokens. Uh, these are printed by Piazza Productions, a good friend of ours. These are going to tell us what type of terrain it is. Now, we're not actually going to roll for each type of terrain. On a five or six, they're going to be... Yeah, uh, so we don't want to play with all the terrain, every single piece of terrain having a, a rule, just because it clouds with the board. So what we're going to do is on a 5 or 6, that piece of terrain, that when then we'll get an ability, okay? So we'll come back once you know all the terrain rules. And just so you know, we placed the terrain like this. We didn't roll on the random tables. Uh, we just set it up. We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back. So we rolled, and only two fives and sixes on the whole board. So this one over here, sinister, and we got arcane. Arcane. So this one's plus Trainer. one to spelling and unbinding, casting and unbinding, and this one causes fear. So basically, at the if you're within three inches of this during the hero phase, during the morale test, no, sorry, during the bravery test. What's it called again? No idea. That one phase. Uh, battle check. Battle. Battle. Battle shock. Battle shock. Yeah. yeah. During the battle shock phase, I think it what's called. Uh, if you you're in combat here and you're with a unit and you are within three inches during this, the unit you're in combat with gets minus one to the bravery for that test. It sure does. Okay. Other than that, uh, we are ready for the rolling to see who divides the table. We are playing with the just the normal rules of Age of Sigmar, with the added caveat that we have a wound cap, that we use the bases and not the models, and that you can only summon models from your dead 
pool. Yeah, that's not my choosing because both my armies I play ha play summoning, but everybody else who plays this game hates summoning, so they nerf well, summoning. We, we don't I mind. Su hey, you still get to summon. You guys nerf summoning until the point oh, where it's useful. So and uh, let's go ahead and roll the. Uh, so what's the rolls first? So service? just basically you roll to see who the, you roll, and whoever wins splits the table in half in any way they want. Yep. The other then the other player gets to choose which half they want to deploy on, and then the person who won the roll gets to deploy the first unit. Then the other person deploys the unit. Whoever's done deploying the units first gets to go Sweet, first. Sweet, let's see this. So two, six. So I'm going to get to deploy my first unit, right? Yeah, after so I divide the table. The table. Okay, uh, I'm just going to split it Dawn of War style. So, so long just way. a long way. Okay, I'm going to choose to deploy on this side. All right, so I will place my first model, and then we're going to come back after deployment. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, and I was just finishing up deployment, but this is my deployment. It's kind of cool. We got my Glade Guard. My Way Watchers and my Wild Riders. Now this is cool, it's kind of like a battle scene. They're rushing through the canyon with the support. And then we have my Sisters of Twilight. And what's your deployment like, Gervin? Okay, so right here I got my Chaos Dwarves and my Sorcerer on the Arcane Ruin. Sweet. And then uh, over here I got my Front, I got my Soul Grinder, my Three Berserkers, and my Lord. Very good. So we did, I did the finish deploying first so I will be going first and I do want to give a shout out to GameMat.eu for providing this game mat free of charge to us go check them out the best mat company out there honestly uh, they bring us some sweet new terrain uh, so yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and go for first turn and we're gonna try something different for battle ports mm -hmm. from now on guys um, we are gonna do a mix I know lots of you guys like watching the short forms which we normally do and some of you guys like watching the long form battle reports where you see all the dice rolls well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to do the short form stuff, but we're going to throw some rolling in. We're not going to be everything. It's going to be not, you know, less than half, probably less than that. But we're going to show you some dice rolls, some key dice rolls, some key points, just to get you more interested. Kind of have a mix of both. Make the battle report short still, but keep you guys more interacted than when we are. So let us know what you think about that. So I will be going first, and we'll come back after my first turn. Maybe a couple of dice roll in between. Okay, here we are at one of those important rolls. So what these guys can do, these are my wild riders, they can run and charge. So they get to move 12 and run, and I rolled a 6. So I am 11 inches away from the Chaos Dwarves, and I'm going to attempt to charge them. And that is a 10. That's unfortunate. But that is the end of my turn. Basically what happened is this guy rolled up and shot, did two wounds to his summoner. Sorcerer. Sorcerer on the train over there and then these guys just ran and tried to attempt to charge and failed on a 10 other than that these guys stayed put waiting for these guys to come and flank me so I got some shooting at them and that is the end of what else turn one going into chaos turn one and here we have a roll for Irvin his soul guard is going to try and charge into these guys needs a six inch charge uh, definitely makes it. He's gonna smash into the squad. And here we're at the end of Chaos Turn 1. What happened, Irvin? Okay, so my hero phase, I cast a, he used his ability on him, which allows these guys to, basically if they charge, nothing unfortunately they weren't in charge range. But over here, my caster casted Mystic Shield on him. I made that charge as you guys saw, and in combat I only really managed to kill Two guys. Two guys, and over here I did one wound with shooting from the soul grinder as well on his lord. So that is that. We're gonna go as Age of Sigmar is. We're and these go. guys got inspiring presence. Yeah, they got inspiring presence, so okay. they don't have to. So roll out to see who has first turn. I got a four. And I a got five. a five. That's the first time I think I've ever won a roll. Nice. Okay, so I'll be going first, and this guy has a cool ability. I roll a dice at the beginning of each turn. On an odd number, nothing happens. On an even number, I gain that many wounds back. Five, so nothing happens unfortunately. Okay, and we'll go to my turn. And we are going to film this combat because he did shoot into me already, just let you guys know. And I'm down to nine wounds out of my 16 wounds. So three inches away, three inch charge. Uh, he makes it automatically there. So the way this dragon works is anything within any of your models within three inches of this guy. Yeah. Uh, any of your units actually can attack only after everything else has attacked. That makes sense. So these guys are going to attack before he does. Awesome. So let's go ahead with the dragon first. Uh, the dragons with its Swister, Sister Twilight Spears have six attacks, two, four, six. Three plus, four plus. Okay, and he does get plus one to hit wound because he is a... 
Because he has that against Chaos there. No, no, I don't. That's only for that one shooting. Attack. Oh, that's only that one shooting? I see. So, two wounds, three plus save, because you got a two plus right now. Actually, no, I charged last turn, so I still technically charge. Oh, so, I don't get the terrain bonus. So, so you got a uh, four, four plus. plus save. And one fails. All right, next, he's going to attack with the dragon's gaping maws. Two, uh, let's see here. Nothing happened. Okay, so he has two attacks of this, four plus, yeah. two plus, red minus two, d6 damage. That is unfortunate. Unfortunately, yes. And then finally, he has the dragon like talons. Those have six attacks for six. Mm -hmm. And those hit on a four plus, wound on a three plus. Ah, it's a testicle. Come on, two wounds here. All wounds. And that's rend minus one. So once again, you have a four plus. What's the damage on these? Two. Uh, that's one fail, so I go down to six wounds. Okay, and then my horse bros will attack. Two, four, six. These are the riders. Three plus, four plus. Two okay. wounds. Three plus eight. Uh, one fails. And then their horses. Four plus, four plus, because they're... Good reindeer. Okay, and that is all. So go ahead and attack my dragon back. Awesome. So my soul grinder will attack with uh, his one attack on the. So he's taking ten wounds. Yeah. So he's, no, he's taking eleven wounds actually. Oh. But my soul grinder will attack with his one special claw, uh, his hellforge claw, on the dragon. So what we do here is we choose it. We take a dice, choose a number. We hide that number we choose and we reveal at the same time. If we reveal the same number, you take six mortal wounds. Yeah? Yes. Uh, okay, so everybody sees my number here. And let's go view Kevin's number. Uh, uh, okay, this one. No, <laughs> dang it, this is so hard. My number's right here and nobody has seen it. Uh, okay, I got it. Okay, put it down. Show it. Two. Okay, I chose a four. Yes, I was gonna choose a four first. Yeah? Oh. Okay. Sweet. So anyways, so he'll attack like normal. So this needs a four plus. Did you take your modifiers into consideration? I have no modifiers. No? Oh no, oh yeah, my only my only negative modifier is when I take an 11, uh, seven to 10 wounds, I get four attacks. Sorry, 11, I get three attacks with the piston. That's the only thing it changes. Right. So with the pistons now, this will be on your guy. Four, uh, that's a four plus and a three plus. Nada. And my demon bone talon. Demon bone talon. On a three plus. And on a three plus. So two wounds, red minus one. So that's one fail. How does it be both fails? Both fails, okay, so that's D3 damage each. So you just took three damage on your dragon. So my dragon is down to eight. Okay, so that is the end of Wood Elf's turn two. Other than that, uh, what else did you do on your turn? Uh, he shot, shot, shot everything shot. He, we would have rolled that, but he forgot, they, they popped off the one feet and they only managed to do four wounds to him. But it's still a valiant effort, and those guys move and ran, uh, moved up just to shoot. So it'll go to Chaos. Turn two. Turn dose. And here we are. Once again, another charge. These guys need a 10 inch charge because they get plus one to make it into those guys. Let's see this. No. no. Okay, so we're going to go to the combat phase. We'll come back after the end of Chaos. Turn three. Come on. Okay, go ahead and tell us what happened, Irvin. Okay, so my turn, I used my command ability uh, again on these guys. They unfortunately didn't fail the charge. Mystic Shield on my guy who did die in combat. I'm, I'm actually quite happy he died for one reason. I'll explain why if it goes off. Other than that, combined shooting here, uh, we brought him down to four wounds with my shooting. And that's all that happened. I didn't get to attack back because of his dragon. So basically, we play, you can, you can only summon models that died. I have a summon soul guide, so I can summon soul guide, but I need to win this roll off. So I hope I win two in a row. Turn three, two, two one, three. three. Oh dang it! New dice. No, I'm sick of the same one. It's not gonna fail me. Five, three, 
Three. Okay, I'll go first. Yep. We'll come back at the end of my turn, or maybe for some important rolls. Yep. Okay, so we're at the end of my turn. Basically, my archers moved up, uh, managed to shoot and do four wounds to one of these cav over here, and then the rest of the turn was spent on killing a caster. I managed to just do it, along with killing three chaos dwarves. Now, the chaos dwarves do have to take a battle shock test. And what's their leadership or bravery? Six. So uh, anything over three is how many wounds you take? Die minus three. Four. So you lose another dwarf. Okay, and that is the end of my turn. Going into chaos, turn four. There's going to be a big old cluster in the middle. We'll see what happens. Okay, and here we have some important charges. He managed to shoot and leave this guy with two wounds. So we, go yep. ahead. So three inch charge on these guys. Uh, this is a squad. Yep. Now this is this guy, he, he makes, makes it. it, so he's going to land right here, and these guys automatically make the charge, because they get plus one to the charge, and I grow two, let's just see how far they go, four inches, that is good enough to go, uh, no, you have to measure that, because you only have, you only have five inches, five inches, that's more than enough to get in there, oh wait, that's one guy, the other guys aren't going to be it, pile in bro, that's okay, so, okay, so what is that? What does that rule say, Irvin? So, murder's charge. Basically, if this unit ends within one inch of any of the units, uh, th I have to do a roll of dice. On a four plus, that unit takes is a that D3 for each model? model spoon. For no, for each for each unit. So this guy, for these two guys, gets okay, two four plus. Four plus. Both good, uh -oh. which means he's dead no matter what. Because I can't roll lower than a two. That's true. And he's gone. That sucks. Ooh. And then, on. These guys are here. Uh, four plus. Yep, yeah, D3. Uh, three wounds. One and a half guys are dead. Okay, we'll come back at the end of the turn. And here we are at the end of Chaos turn three. What happened, Irvin? So my, my hero phase, I use my command ability, which gives them plus one to wound, and the turn to charge. Other than that, you guys saw the dice rolls on the charge, killed the dragon, and uh, did a few wounds to that. Other than that, because the dragon was dead, I got to attack first, and obviously the, the three guys there died to the skull crushes. So this is going to be dice off for first turn again. So one, one to one. one. Oh, thank goodness, thank goodness. Come on, the long war dice, help me out here. Nah. Five to four. I will go, go first. first again. Pardon? Yep. Okay guys, and here we are in the shooting phase. Uh, basically I made it so these guys were all within range of these, but I'm 17 inches away so you'll be able to get an eight inch charge because he has plus one to his charge. But anyways, let's go ahead. These guys shot, managed to do only one wound, killing that guy. We got 18 more shots over here. Three plus. On fire, let's try that again. Three plus. Okay, so we have six, uh, 16. And then four plus. That's only three. That's unfortunate. Six wounds total. Four plus save, Irvin. Okay. I failed two. So that's all I need. And that's the end of my turn. I did kill. I only did three wounds that turn, unfortunately. If it, if it continues like that, I'm not gonna have a good chance at this. Let's I may have ahead. a battle shock test here. Oh, that's true. Let's check that out. If your tablet loads, there you go. Bravery six. So on a six, I lose a guy. It's a three. No, it's unfortunate. So go to my turn. Okay, I'll see it. Okay, here we are with some important charges. The Lord needs a eight inch, and the squad needs a seven inch. So let's go ahead and see the charge range on the Lord first. Lord first. Eight inch charge. He makes it. And on the squad, squad. Seven in charge. They make it. Very good. We'll come back at the end of combat. And here we are at the end of Chaos turn two. What happened, Irvin? So as you guys see, I've got my charges on camera. These guys didn't do anything because I didn't want to shoot to pull, kill any of those guys to pull them out of range. Anyways, my command ability went off as well. Of course, I chose to put that off. So on my turn combat, I, I messed up and I, and I attacked with my blood crushers first which actually put my lord out of combat. Well, sorry, he, he, he got a pylon, but he actually wasn't in range to attack there, so let me just put that, so he has one inch attacks. So, other than that, I killed 11 guys. Kevin attacked back, it did nothing to me. So it means battle shock phase. Uh, Kevin's bravery is six. So dice plus five guys die, so six more die. Woohoo! 
And when we remove those, let's go ahead back into. See who goes first. Oh, Maybe I can go win. first this time. One, one to and four. four. I go first once again. Okay, we'll come back at the end of my turn. Okay, and here we are at the end of my turn. Basically, I went for the Hail Mary. I tried to shoot. He made some really good saves. Mm -hmm. And that was that. And these guys died. So go ahead. You can make a turn. We'll be back at the end of his very short turn eight. Or I guess it's turn six. I've, I've lost track. For chaos. Okay, what happened on your turn, Irvin? Uh, well, my blood clashes. Da, and my blood da, da, moved up and I killed. He didn't do any wounds to me. And I, I didn't kill all of them. So that would be the end of game for Chaos Victory. Good hey, game. Sigmar. We'll come back with the post game show, guys. Hey, base for the collective, and thank you for watching out of the Age of Sigmar Battle Report. That was Irvin and Kevin playing. Irvin was playing the Chaos. Kevin was playing the the Wood Elves. The Elvies. The Elvies. The, so, uh, the, the Elves with the Woodies. So Chaos. <laughs> sorry. Chaos, right. did, Chaos did come up with the victory there at the end. It was a very close game. It was a very close game until my shooting failed to kill some blood crushes. He made some good saves on his blood crushes all game. And yeah, that's what happened. My dragon died to some lucky impact hits as well. Impact hits. Crappy impact hits. But that's what it was. It was a great game. I also didn't go first at all that game. Yeah, you did. You did have a disadvantage. Yeah, I, I'm not sure if the Glade Guard were really worth it. I could have took something different. I kind of like the theme. Um, I do have a whole board of army. I need some more Dyrath and Dryads. Dryads. Uh, whatever, the Tree Bros. I'm going to get... <laughs> Sorry about that. If you if you know what I'm talking about, I'm sorry. I want to get two more of the big tree lord kits uh, and have around have 30 of the little guys to play that army. Yeah, to play that army. Yeah. But anyways, that's what I need for my wood elves. I'm gonna get that. My I'm probably gonna send it to my guys at Four Realms of Chaos. They do great work, and I'm super happy with it. But other than that, would you? The game was good. Yeah, the game was good. It's I been mean, a while since I played. We filmed the Age of Sigma Battle Report, and we want to thank you for sticking around with us. Mm-hmm. Um. You know, just school and work and all that jazz. But we are here for the summer. We are going to try and release three videos every week. Uh, ideally, what it'd be is a 40k battle put on Monday, which we should always hit. Mm -hmm. Age of Sigma, uh, and then uh, X Wing on Friday. Unfortunately, you're watching this as an Age of Sigma battle point. Maybe not. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get it one filmed. But we'll try to get that. And then Wednesday, we're going to do some unboxings for you. I mean, we have lots of stuff planned. Lots of unboxings. We have lots of great opportunities coming forth. Tell them about the giveaway we have going on. Right? Yeah, so if you check a few videos back, uh, the box is right up there. We got a huge box of stuff right here. Our sponsorship box. So basically, a lot of companies send us a lot of things to do sponsorship videos. Well, not sponsorship videos, just shout out videos. So we got, uh, you don't have to go through it this all. This is Max Mini. But we got a whole of box stuff. of stuff right there. It's falling out. There's like $400, 400 retail. 400 retail stuff. There's some really good stuff in here. You know what, mainly 40K stuff. Actually, all 40K stuff, really. Uh, but some check, infinity style some stuff. Infinity too. style stuff. But check that giveaway video. It's going to one person. All you got to do is comment on that video, subscribe to our channel, like that video. That Let was us, last week. That was last week. Let us know what you want from us. We're gonna try the best here. We're gonna get some more people in here to do some more games. Uh, let us know. Uh, I also actually got a new Tyranid army in, so that'll be fun to show off. It's right here if you can see any of it. Yeah. We've got this big beast of a guy over here. Uh, we'll film in a battle port with this tomorrow. It should be live two Mondays from now for you. Or next Monday, of course, cool. the old Diamond Karen right here. Uh, yeah, so thank you guys. We're trying to increase the quality of our video. So if you saw, we kind of tried through some random shots of the game in there. So it's not just and determined caps. Let us know what you think about that. We're trying to get the cam cam. We have like the best camera for this type of filming on the market. So any shaking is because not the camera's fault, but it's or definitely say the our best fault. camera. Okay, we have a very good camera regardless. Yes. And so we're gonna try and do that. And we talk really quickly, so we're trying to talk slower. So we don't mess up our speaking, speeching, speeching. <laughs> we don't mess up speech. But thank you guys for watching another Basement Collective Battle Report. We have Kevin and Irvin and Agent Sigmar game for you guys. And keep on wargaming.